So what do you get when you combine a couple of plastic straws, a bottle, and some modeling clay? Well, science, of course, physics in action, as our Steve Spangler is showing us this afternoon. Ever wonder why some coffee shops have two sizes of straws? so that you can do today's special experiment. Isaac Newton would be very proud. For every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. You're gonna make a squeeze bottle rocket. Here's what you're gonna do. First of all, you get the uh, straw, your smaller one, and you're gonna need a juice bottle. So you see these little squeeze bottle juice bottles? Lots of sugar. Uh, you just need the bottle, got it? So here's the bottle, and so this is the air. That's gonna power the rocket. So this goes down inside like this, and it's perfect, got it? Kids are gonna love this. You're gonna have to seal it now with a little bit of modeling clay. The whole idea is we're doing design, right? So you're coming up with a way to launch the, uh, the little straw. Now, if you take a straw and you just put it over the top like this and you squeeze, nothing happens because you need to seal the end. Take a look at this. I put it down in some clay. So now here are little arrows, got it? So this is in place here like this. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. <laughs> so this goes on the top like this. All right, so when you squeeze, the air pushes and bam, <laughs> nice. Now you just change this, so you want this a little bit longer? No problem at all, that's great. So if I were you, I'd just make a whole bunch of them in the family, put on your safety glasses, <laughs> like, nah, I got you right there like that. It's exactly what you're going to do. It's a great lesson uh, in force in motion. Don't try this at home. Try it at a friend's home because they probably got insurance. I'm Steve Spangler, boom. That was a good one, and that's your Science Minute.